Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a quick first impression on the Spear Pro Pike Knife. We have both 9cm and 11 today. Let's dive in. So, I haven't unboxed this one. This is the Spear Pro Pike 11cm one. Out here we have the 9 already. So what, here's what you can expect from this knife. Um, so first, you got the box. Let's open this guy up. First we got, of course, the knife and the sheath. Right there. And of course our straps. So pretty simple, exactly what you expect. Uh, we have our straps here, one set of straps. So long straps, some knives, higher end knives come with uh, usually a, a straps for your leg, um, something like that, so a longer piece of rubber, and some knives, um, like my older Rife knives, knife, Rife knife came with not only the rubber, but also uh, a cloth-like like material um, that you can use. It's shorter, and you can put it on your forearm. But anyway, back to the knife. So, um, first impressions, uh, it looks Pretty standard in terms of what you can find on the market outside of Spear Pro. A lot of manufacturers make similar knives to this um, with very slight iterations with them. In this case, Spear Pro has the knife that is serrated on both sides. Uh, a couple of other knife manufacturers use serrated on one side and straight edge on the other or both straight edge. Um, but yeah, a really nice black color. I do love the color of this handle. This kind of highlighter yellow is really nice, uh, especially if you just so happen to drop your knife and you need to go find it. This color is pretty much what's, what's gonna help you find your knife. I have dropped my knives a couple times and definitely the color, I can tell you, does help. Um, it's not very often, but when, it, when you do drop it, you're glad it's a bright color, not a camo or black, so. I do like that personally. So according to the website, the steel that's used on this knife is a 304 Japanese stainless steel. Stainless steel is obviously what you're looking for, anti-rust. Um, it is coated in Teflon. I'm not entirely sure what that does, to be honest, but it does look really cool. Um, it has a nice Spear Pro logo on the bottom, which is a really nice touch. The handle is a good feel. I do have generally a little, slightly bigger hands than most. Not, they're not huge, but um, they are a little bit bigger. I'm 6'2", so slightly bigger hands. They do fit comfortably. Uh, with gloves, it might be a little tighter, but I'm not looking for a, a, a superb grip um, when I'm diving, just good enough. So overall, really nice construction. This is the nine centimeter. And same, same general construction, just longer blade with the 11. But yeah, both have really nice handle feels and of course that nice highlighter yellow on the handle. Um, I do wanna highlight that again, both are serrated on both sides. Personal experience and my preference, I like the serrated edges more than the um, straight edges. Having both would be nice, but um, most of the time from my experience, having that serrated edge is much more important um, when you're needing to cut through kelp or if you needed to cut line and whatnot. Um, just a serrated edge does a good job of cutting it um, pretty quickly. If you're looking for that precision cut, like if you need to do it for a specific type of line and you don't want it to fray too much, a straighter edge probably is better, but Again, if you just need to get out of a tough pickle or um, get rid of an untangled line, serrated edge is the way to go. The point is decently sharp, not tremendously sharp, but sharp enough for a braining fish. So there are the knives. Next up, let's just briefly talk about these straps. Um, nothing really special or notable with these straps outside of just being a buckle like most most standard straps out there. Um, it is the longer portion, and uh, most likely you're gonna be strapping this to your calf uh, with the sheath. My personal preference, I like my knives on the belt or my forearm, so if I was to use this knife uh, in my daily carry, probably use the nine centimeter. I would probably put the knife with the sheath on my forearm, and I would probably cut down this rubber 
strap so I don't have a bunch of excess flapping around everywhere. But that's just my personal preference. I'll try that out. If it doesn't work, then maybe somewhere else. Um, but with that being said, let's move on to the sheaths. Um, obviously with the 11, you're gonna get a slightly bigger one versus the nine. So consider that if you're trying to figure out where to put these, they both come with the ability to put on your dive belt, uh, these larger loops on the top, you can feed your dive belt through, no problem. And they have a built-in like rubber O. This is to secure the knife when it's in the sheath. So you stick the knife in, And then once it's in, there is a little bit of friction that holds the knife in without that ring on top. It's not super secure, but it does a little, hold it a little bit at least. And then to secure the entire knife, you're gonna put that ring over the top and that, that thing's not going anywhere. And obviously to get the knife out, you do it in reverse. You just pull off the O rubber and then you pull out the knife, ready to go. Um, but a couple things that I like about this sheath or this type of sheath, um, again, pretty common in the market. Uh, you, of course, you have, like I mentioned, the weight belt that you can feed through the top. There is a little small hole on the side where you can feed the second strap through. So you have a strap on top and the bottom if you want to do it to your leg. Um, and though this is very common amongst most, most uh, knife sheaths, this kind of wall that helps you guide the knife into the sheath, I really like. I've noticed on the current one I have, which I do have here with me, there is no wall leading into where the knife will sit. So for example, this guy um, is another Spear Pro knife that I have. Slightly higher price point compared to this one, but just to prove a point, when I put it in, it does secure nicely, even without the bungee being um, attached. Very firm, and when you pull out, it's very confidence-inspiring. But when you need to put the knife back in, I have a hard time finding the exact point to fit the knife into the sheath, and I have to search for that sometimes. With this knife and many other sheaths, because you have this kind of wall portion where the weight belt would go through, you could more or less like slide the knife into the sheath and you won't stab yourself. So small thing, but I like it. Um, so you put it in, which is nice. Uh, the O-ring on top is a good touch once it's secure and we need to pull it out. But when you, when you need to reinsert the knife in, it does kind of get in the way a little bit, not a ton, I'm just nitpicking here. So something to consider. What I would do if I was to use this for my daily carry is actually remove this black ring entirely. And I would add an elastic strap like I have here on this guy. Um, reason being is what I do to secure my current blade is use the elastic strap on top, attach to the knife, go underneath the bottom of the sheath and it's not going anywhere. That bungee's holding that sucker in. So I would do the same concept with the Spear Pro Pike Knife. I would stick it in, and assuming I have that bungee looped around this hole, I would grab that bungee and secure it to the bottom of the sheath underneath, and it will stay in place. And when I need to, I'll undo it and pull out the knife, and it's ready to go. Another benefit of the elastic on your knife is if you're working on braining your fish or settle, settling something else, what you can do is put it around your wrist and just say when you're done, for example, braining your fish, you can handle your fish. Obviously be careful because you have a knife hanging on your arm, but if you need to do something really quick, it's just nice that you can drop it, get it done, and then once you have the time, pull it out and safely Put your knife away so that's what i would do if i had this knife but overall a simple sheath effective and um, it's nice that they have the little rubber ring on top a lot of knives i know don't um, that have similar designs so that's a nice touch overall a great package i think um, just 
very good beginner knife. If you're considering a knife like this or something similar, either similar design or in the entry level price point, you're most likely looking at a lot of the other rebranded knives that have one knife that has the four holes, usually with no uh, rubber or any sort of handle. It's just four holes in that very simple knife. Um, that sheath, it uses like a leather, uh, a lever mechanism to release the knife. You push it in and it really, you could pull the knife out. I've had that before when I first started spearfishing. The biggest gripe I have with a lever action release from the sheath is that sometimes if you don't push it down all the way, you can't pull the knife out. It's, um, it took a little bit of effort and getting used to to pull that out. So um, I think this is one of the better choices for an entry level spear knife, or even if a backup knife, if you're a little more veteran of a diver, um, a great choice. Love the color um, and everything. This is 304 stainless steel. With that being said, with any dive knife, you always wanna rinse it off after a dive and dry it. It's not gonna be rust proof, but you can extend the longevity of your dive knives that way. But regardless, great options. Nine centimeter, 11 centimeter. Last thing I'll leave with you guys with is that bigger doesn't always mean better. 11 for the same price as nine, there's no reason to go for the 11 unless you like that size. There's, you're not getting any more value out of it outside of the literal length. Um, pick a knife size that works for you. Me personally, I would probably go with the nine. In very rare occasions, I find an 11 necessary. Um, a nine is perfect for penetrating um, and bra braining pretty much most fish that you'll catch at shore, at least for me. White sea bass, no problem. Um, yeah, and it's just a good length. And the sheath obviously will reflect that as well. So a shorter sheath which is a little more streamlined and less likely to get caught on things and whatnot. So um, I hope this review was helpful. Again, this is the Spear Pro Pike Knife. Um, check it out. There's other knives out there that have similar designs. Check those out as well. It's your preference, but um, a great starter knife and really nice build. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.